Let's go to page 159 and start with number 2. We have 4 minus x equal to 6. Okay, so you can just solve normally. So it's minus 4 on both sides. So you got negative x equal to 2 and divide by negative 1. So x will equal to 2 and that's it. Okay, and okay, so let's go to number 4. So this is called a conditional. So when you have an answer, it's a conditional. Okay, so you got 10 minus 5y equal to 8 minus 5y. So you can first let's consolidate the variables. So let's go and plus 5y on both sides. And notice that this got cancel out, this got cancel out. So you got 10 equal to 8. Okay. Now this is impossible, right? This is not true. Okay. So when something that's impossible, that's, that cannot be true, then answer would be no solution. Because what it, what it says is that no matter what y is equal to, it's going to always be false. Okay. And so there would be no solution. Because it cannot. Okay. Okay, number six. You have seven x plus twelve equal to twelve plus seven x. Okay, again, let's consolidate the variable first. So let's go move one to the other. So that's minus seven x on both sides. And so you're going to get twelve. So you can just cancel out. So you got twelve equal to twelve. Okay. So this is always true. So what it's saying is that no matter what x is equal to, this is always going to be true. And you also can see it from here. So in this case, this is the uh, uh, identity, okay, and that would be your answer. Okay. In number eight, you have a x minus three times five minus x equal to seven. Okay. So first, let's go ahead and get rid of parentheses by working it out. So ax, so when you distribute your multiplies would be minus 15, this one would be plus 3x equal to 7. And let's go ahead and uh, combine the like terms. Okay, so you got 11x minus 15 equal to 7. And then from here, you move the number to the other side, so plus 15 on both sides, so that this will cancel out. So you got 11x equal to 22 divide by 11, divide by 11, so x equal to 2, and that's your answer. Okay, okay number 10, you have 4x minus 2 times 6 plus 2x is equal to negative 12. Okay, so again, first, let's get rid of the parentheses, so distribute, so it'd be minus 12, distribute, so it'd be minus 4x equal to negative 12, Combine the like terms so they cancel out. So you got negative twelve equal to negative twelve. So this is your ident so this is identity. Because they are same, right? They are exactly the same. Okay, let's go to the next one. So you got 6x minus 3 times 5 plus 2x is equal to negative 12. Okay, so again, get rid of parentheses, so that's going to distribute. So multiply, you get negative 15. Multiply, you get negative 6x equal to negative 12. Combine the like terms, they cancel out. So you got negative 15 equal to negative 12. So again, this is impossible, this is not true. So it so will be no solution. Okay, number 14, you got 6 times 3 minus 4x plus 10 equal to ax minus 3 times 2 minus 3x. Okay, so let's go and distribute to get rid of the parentheses. So this would be 18 minus 24x plus 10 equal to ax. So multiply, distribute, so negative 6, and this would be plus 9x. Okay, let's go and combine the like terms to simplify things a little bit. So 18 plus 10 would be plus 28. And this one combined the like term would be 17x minus 6. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move the variable to this side, the number to this side. So minus 17x on both sides. 
so this will cancel out and I'm going to move this to this side so I need to minus 28 so that this will cancel out so I get negative 41 X is equal to negative 34 and then divide by negative 41 on both sides so X will equal to the negative will cancel out so I get 34 over 41 Let's go to the next one. Okay, so I have 3 times x minus 4 minus 5 times 6 minus x equal to 2 times 4x minus 21. Okay, so that's going to distribute. So I get 3x minus 12. And this one, the next one, I can distribute. So minus 30 plus 5x equal to distribute so I get ax distribute so I get minus 42 okay so let's go and combine the like terms to simplify a little bit so this one this one would be ax this one and this one would be minus so same sign you have to add the numbers together so it would be negative 42 so for me you can see they're identical right they are, they, are, they are exactly the same so right away you know that this is identity because they're identical Okay, in, in order to be identity, they have to be exactly the same. Okay, the two sides have to be exactly the same. Okay, number 18, you have 3 times 5 minus 2 times 7 minus x, bracket, equal to 6 times 6, uh, x minus 7. Okay, so first let's get rid of the parentheses. So distribute, so you get minus 14. Distribute be plus uh, plus two x, so double check, so minus seventeen plus two x. Okay, this one you get you get six x minus forty two. Then your next step is going to distribute out. You, you can combine the like terms first and distribute, or you can distribute. Doesn't matter. Okay, so that's going to distribute. So fifteen. This would be minus forty two plus 6x equal to 6x minus 42 and let's go and uh, combine the like term to simplify a little bit okay actually you can see that they're, they're going to be the, they're going to be no solution because this this part will cancel out okay but anyway so let's do that okay um, but actually you know what this um that, that's just going minus 6x on both sides okay so you're going to get 15 minus 42 equal to negative 42 and then from here you can see that there's no solution or you can just plus 42 on both sides so you can see that 15 is equal to 0 right so again this would be no solution